Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Yan, taking you through a difficult time in world football and indeed the world, offering you Chelsea-related content every single day here on Football Therapy. So, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video, which is a Chelsea news video where I'm going to be talking about two things. I do want to talk about the Lautaro Martinez links to Chelsea Football Club. Quite a superstar link to the Blues, whether it's actually a feasible transfer or not, I'm not so sure, but I want to talk about that seeing as it's going around the rags. And also, CIS, or C's, Football Observatory, have recently published an article telling you who the most valuable clubs are around world football. Chelsea is in a number five, beating a lot of the big boys, considering they haven't bought any players for a couple of windows. That's pretty impressive. So it's an absolute banger today and you don't want to miss anything, so make sure you are subscribed. And also, I want to take this opportunity to let you know that this video is brought to you by OneFootball. Mm -mm -mm, the OneFootball app is your one place to stop for football news, scores, fixtures. Not many scores or fixtures going on right now, but I'm telling you what's on the app. A superb platform that makes everything easy for you to access, whether that be scores, fixtures, football news, football media, any kind of updates. If you want to be plugged into the football mainframe, I suggest you check out One Football. There is an app, and also I put the link in the top of the description, so go check it out. All right, let's get on with it. So let's start with Chelsea's super expensive, valuable football squad. Like I said, CIS Football Observatory published the values recently. I'm gonna put it up on the screen next to me now. Unsurprisingly, Liverpool are at the top of the champions of Europe with players probably on long term deals. And to be honest, Manchester City, Barcelona and Real Madrid all underneath are no big shockers either. They all win stuff, they all buy loads of super expensive players, which of course will increase the value of the squads. But the most notable thing you will see here in this list is little old Chelsea Football Club. That's right, Chelsea Football Club in fifth place, sitting above the likes of super spenders Manchester United, double super spenders Paris Saint-Germain if you think about the likes of the Neymar and Mbappe purchases of late. Atletico Madrid, Tottenham, Juventus, all these quote-unquote big clubs, Chelsea are sitting pretty above and they've had a transfer ban. They haven't bought any players for two windows. What a guan! This is a lovely story in a very dark time because the truth is Chelsea have brought through loads of academy players that are all actually worth a lot of money now and obviously Chelsea didn't pay a thing for these players they've bred them themselves they've grown them in the Cobham Academy lab that sounds weird the likes of Billy Gilmore, Mason Mount, Callum hudson Adoy, Reese James, Ruben Loftus-Cheek Fakaya Tomori all signing new long-term deals. Now the important thing to note here is the length of the contract usually is a huge factor, well it is a huge factor in how much the player is worth. So if you have a lot of young players on long contracts, that makes them very, very valuable. Chelsea have loads of those because they've just tied loads down to long-term deals. They are all young and they're all playing in the Premier League, which obviously makes them incredibly valuable as well. And there is a premium, whether you like it or not, on English players that makes them more valuable and pretty much all Chelsea's youngsters are all English. So loads and loads of peas indeed. If Tammy Abraham signs a new contract, more on him in a minute, obviously he's scoring a lot of goals in the Premier League, which comes at a massive premium. You can even ex you can expect that to even go up. The likes of Mason Mount, he's by, by the C's Observatory's rankings, he's worth tens and tens and tens of millions of pounds. You know, talented, high-rated English midfielder, very young, long-term deal, scores goals, very good at pressing. Loads of promising signs here. Obviously, this is just a sort of... It's not even really a bragging right, it's just a piece of information that doesn't necessarily help Chelsea fans out a lot. Nice to know you've got a valuable squad, nice to know you've got valuable assets. Let's see them do the business on the pitch and let's 
plug in some quality in and around these youngsters and make Chelsea a force to be reckoned with again. Make Chelsea great again. Ugh. So let's just transition onto the next story using Tammy Abraham. Apparently to this situation of Tammy Abraham's contract might not just be a monetary issue of him demanding more cash. He might want to see what Chelsea are doing in terms of who they're going to bring in because he knows, he knows, Chelsea want to bring in a striker. And that's true. Chelsea have been looking at loads of strikers and they do want to bring one in. I did a video yesterday on potentially Luka Jovic being an option. Not that there's any particular links. I was just speculating and talking about the striker. If you haven't seen that video, I'd urge you to just go back and watch that video. But there have been strong Lotaro Martinez links and you can bet your bottom dollar that would cost Chelsea a lot of money and that would make Tammy Abraham a bit more reluctant to extend his new contract because he knows Chelsea would have spent loads of money on this new centre forward which implies he will be the starting striker which might set him back personally I think someone like Martinez would be excellent because he could play in a two with Tammy, they could challenge each other, there'd be plenty of minutes to go around, if Frank Lampard generally runs a meritocracy, he just wants the options to be the best. Martinez is absolute quality. So we'll have to see, if Tammy still does have a couple of years left, he'll have to just knuckle down and you know win his place essentially, but let's talk about Martinez. He scored a bunch of goals in Serie A this season. He striked up a wonderful partnership with Romelu Lukaku before the season came to a standstill. They looked very, very good together. He can play as a number nine or he can play in a two very, very comfortably. Most notably scoring five goals in six Champions League appearances. And he's a really young player still as well. He's pretty much like one of the superstar centre forwards um, in world football at the moment. Like you talk about... Although Timo Werner and Luka Jovic, but Luka Jovic is kind of a you know Real Madrid reject at the moment. I think he'll be an excellent option for Chelsea, Luka Jovic, because he'll be a lot cheaper and he's a realistic target and he's the type of striker that can challenge with Tammy. Chelsea going for Martinez is going to be hundred million pounds plus, and it's much for a spanner in the works in the dressing room, and you're not entirely sure how it's going to work. But still, do not get me wrong. This guy is a superstar footballer, and if Chelsea can get Lautaro Martinez, then why not? Because we're in a position now, Chelsea Football Club, where they need to strengthen. Hopefully they have some money in the summer if football doesn't completely break down financially because of everything that's going on, and he could be an excellent option. Now, Martinez himself apparently wants to go to Barcelona and play with Messi. Messi's getting pretty old now, though. All these people who dream of playing with Messi need to hurry up because <laughs> they ain't gonna have much more of a chance. Kind of, and there has been contact between Inter Milan and Barcelona because, think about it, they, they, they never really replaced um, Neymar in terms of that forward that can go wide and sort of come in. And, you know, I'm sure they've got Griezmann, Uzeman, and Bele, and they've tried, but it hasn't really happened. Granted, it's got a little bit better with Griezmann of late, but still, also, Suarez is, is pretty darn old now. And in terms of a centre forward, L Lautaro Martinez could basically fit the bill for a bunch of reasons in Barcelona. I'm sure they'd be able to fork out some cash. Well, I'm saying that, I'm not sure they actually have any cash. But also, do, you know, he's doing the business for Inter Milan. Is, is Conte gonna be happy with this? It's a really interesting situation with Inter Milan because they've spent so much money. Maybe they've told Conte, look, we're going for the Scudetto this season. You can buy all these players in the summer. You can buy all these players in January like Victor Moses. Ashley Young, you, you know, the Premier League reunion to try and reinforce our title charge, but to keep in sort of bounds of financial fair play in the three year period, next summer we gotta sell Martinez, dude, to make that 100 plus million to make all this work. This is just a theoretical situation I'm thinking of now, and if that's the case, Conte will be gutted, the season won't finish, and perhaps he missed his golden chance to win the Scudetto with a team that's not Juventus. Right, now my brain's stopped going off in that wandering, peculiar walk. Let's bring it home. Do I think Martinez could come to Chelsea? I don't know, I don't think so. I think this is just another one of those links. I'd absolutely love him because he's an elite striker and I'm all for Chelsea Football Club bringing in an elite striker. I'm really trying to, you know, bang away some goals like Pulisic, Hakim Ziyech and Lotaro Martinez as a front three. It's not sounding so bad anymore for Chelsea Football Club, is it? And that's no disrespect to other players that could play in the front line. Tammy Abraham's still very good. You know, Hudson-Odoi's very, very good. 
other wingers as well, you know, see what happens. Boga might come. Happy times. We'll have to see, but provided the market runs as normal and Chelsea can start signing players when they want to, I probably think, personally, Luka Jovic would be about £50 million cheaper <laughs> and is a, is a good option as well. And perhaps, you know, if they want to like evenly distribute transfer funds over the starting 11, maybe banging not or not banging £120 million on, say, Lotaro Martinez, you know, might, that might be a smart idea. Be more conservative. Who knows, you know? See what happens. Anyway, what do you lot think? I'm keen to get your thoughts and opinions on everything I've spoken about in today's video. What do you think of Chelsea being the fifth most valuable club in world football, regardless of the fact they've not strengthened in a couple of windows? How do you feel about that? Is that good? Is that bad? Does it matter? <laughs> Also, let me know your thoughts and opinions on the striker situation or the striker transfer situation. Who would you preference? Think about it. Think about the money spent, fitting into the team, how they'd play. Who would be your preference? Martinez, Jovic, Dembele? Get down in the comment section and let me know that. And if you've enjoyed the content today, guys, I'd urge and request you guys to like the video. That means a lot. Subscribe to Football Therapy if you are new because I'm uploading every single day, sometimes twice, even in the time of no football, I will offer you content. Come follow me on social media, at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. I'm very interactive on Instagram, so come follow me there, at Football Yannick. You lot enjoy the football that is not happening, and I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chalk In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I let me be